Hello, and in this part two IELTS speaking video, I'm going to look at the topic, describe a time when you received money as a gift. You should say who gave it to you, when they gave it to you, why they gave it to you, and explain how you felt about it. When I was growing up, I used to love birthdays and special occasions such as Christmas, as I would get all the toys and books that I had asked for. But as you get older, you have everything you need, so it becomes challenging for people to find suitable gifts. Because of this, whenever I am given a present now, it is often money or a gift card. Gift cards are great to receive, but then you are limited to where you can spend them, whereas with cash, you can choose where you spend it. It was my birthday last month, and my parents kept pestering me to tell them what I wanted. But as usual, there was absolutely nothing that I wanted or needed, so I said, I don't need anything. Obviously, close family would not feel comfortable giving me nothing, so on my birthday, there were a few small gifts such as chocolates and such like, but my main present was money. I won't say how much it was, because it is vulgar to talk about money, isn't it? I was delighted to receive it, because I have been saving up for my holiday, and this money will help pay for the holiday, and there will be some left over for spending money. I do feel bad, because my parents aren't particularly well off, but I know that if I refuse the money, they would be hurt and offended, so I gratefully accepted it. I thanked them at the time, and then a few days later, I sent them a thank you card because I wanted to show them that I was extremely grateful to them. I feel that when someone gives you money as a present, it is important to buy something special or do something with it such as go on holiday, rather than wasting it on things such as online gaming. My brother does this, and it infuriates me, because it is my parents' hard-earned money, and he just squanders it on Fortnite. My holiday will be special, and I will buy my parents something when I am there, to thank them again for this gift. Let's take a look at some of the language in this topic. I find topics such as this very tricky to think of lots of complex language for, but I've hopefully included a few things. There are lots of um, examples of complex grammar that you can use in this topic. So I started with when I was growing up, I used to. If you can get any past continuous in your answer, when I was growing up, when I was studying in high school, when I was working in America, when I was living in the UK, these are really complex uh, uses of grammar and the IELTS examiner loves them. So try to use things like this. Special occasions, another way of saying things like birthdays, Christmas, Thanksgiving, these kinds of things. I would get, would is another way of saying used to for repeated actions in the past. I had asked for, so we're using past perfect here. So within that one sentence, we've got so much complex grammar that the IELTS examiner will be so impressed. It becomes difficult, it becomes tricky. I think I used tricky at another point, so I've used challenging here to show the lexical range that you have. A suitable gift, a possible gift, a gift that somebody would like. You could say when I am given or whenever, if it's something that happens um, on a regular basis, whenever I am given. So we've got passive in here. You are limited to, you are restricted to. Cash, this is what we call money. So this is an example of cash. It's, it's money, it's not a check, it's not a bank transfer, it's the real money, the real thing. To pester someone, to keep pestering someone, is to keep asking them. Children do this to parents. For example, if you're in the supermarket and they want a toy or they want some sweets or chocolate and they're like, Mum, can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? This is pestering. We actually have a word pester power to describe the power that children have when they're pestering you. And as a parent, I'm a parent myself and my son uses pester power and he just keeps asking and asking and asking. And eventually you get tired and just say, oh, go on then. Yes, you can have it. 
absolutely nothing, so I'm just adding adverbs here to make it stronger and more complex. Obviously, get your adverbs in there um, because these add to your grammatical, sorry, not your grammatical range, your lexical resource, but it's also a discourse marker here. Close family, so I'm just all the time trying to say things in a little bit more complex way, so instead of saying my parents, close family. When you have a list and uh, you want to say chocolates and instead of saying another item you can say such like and it means things like this, so similar things to this. We write it usually as one word, such like. It is vulgar to talk about money. This is something we say in the UK. We don't feel comfortable talking about money. We think it's tasteless and lacking good taste or sophistication when you talk about money. So we say it's vulgar to talk about money, isn't it? And I've just put a tag question in there to add to the grammatical range. So you need to say how you feel about getting this money. So I was delighted. And then here, I was extremely grateful. Delighted means pleased, happy, extremely grateful, very thankful. And we have some more good grammar here, some present perfect continuous. I have been saving up. So an action that started in the past but is continuing in the present. Leftover. You could talk about leftover food. You can talk about leftover money. And it's money that is left after you've spent on something else. I do feel bad. We use the auxiliary verb do when we really want to emphasise something, focus on something. So it's like saying, yes, I really feel bad. I do feel bad because my parents aren't particularly, aren't very well off. Well off means wealthy or rich. They would be hurt and offended. Both of these words have a similar meaning, but I've just put it in to add to my lexical resource range. So hurt, offended, if you offend something, you do something that upsets them. I gratefully accepted it. IELTS examiners, when you like it, when you can show that you know word families, so I'm grateful, I gratefully accepted it. I'm using the adjective and the adverb. Rather than wasting it on, when we use rather than, we follow it with an ing verb. You can say instead of wasting it on. When you waste money on things, you spend money on things unnecessarily. My brother does this and it infuriates me. This is quite strong um, and it means it makes me very, very angry. To infuriate, to make angry. It, it infuriates me very useful little expression for talking about things, you know, it infuriates me when people throw litter on the ground, it infuriates me when people smoke in public places, so things that make you very, very angry. We talk about hard-earned cash or hard-earned money, and it is money that you've worked hard for. And he just squanders it. This is a much stronger than waste it, but it means the same thing. When somebody wastes money on something, he squanders it on Fortnite. So quite a tricky topic. Try to um, use words like, um, you know, my parents are not particularly well off. I was delighted to receive it. I was extremely grateful. I gratefully accepted it. There are a lot of words that you can use in this topic. But like I said, anything where it's describing a time when these are my least favourite uh, topics on IELTS. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching.